Five, a major mess in Sarasota County. A water main that services more than half of the county is now being repaired. The line broke after crews drilled two inches into it last night, and this could impact the water pressure for a whole lot of people. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan joins us live from Laurel Road, where crews are working. Kim, tell us more about uh, how this happened last night. Yeah, Linda, Sarasota County says that was an independent contractor not associated with the county who was doing directional drilling when they drilled right into the water main. It's causing us to lose a million and a half gallons a day out of a two inch hole. On top of the lost water, this break on Laurel Road at Ancora Boulevard is causing a lot of headaches. This was an independent con directional drilling contractor. I don't know who they were working for. Uh, they hit our line, and when we got down here, they packed up and left. That was Thursday night. Before lunchtime Friday afternoon, Sarasota County was able to shut down the water main so they can work on a repair. We still have enough water. We'll, we're still providing the same amount of water. It's just at a reduced pressure. It'll be much more noticeable in multi-story buildings. So, you know... It takes more pressure to get up two or three stories. Since this main carries water to more than half of Sarasota County residents, nearby cities are stepping in to help. Our regional partners have been fantastic in cooperating with us. Uh, we've worked with the Peace River Authority to uh, increase our request from them. We've worked with the city of Northport. We've opened our interconnect with the city of Northport. Once the repair is finished, an investigation will begin. And Sarasota County says the company responsible for the break will also foot the bill. There will be substantial costs involved in this repair. And Sarasota County says they have checked the water pressures and they said they haven't seen a dramatic change in the pressure, but it could still be impacted. As for the water, it should be turned back on by tomorrow afternoon, filed, followed by this section of Laurel Road on Sunday afternoon. Linda, back to you. All right, Kimberly Cuisan reporting live for us. Thank you.